What's going on with y'all? This is your boy Kev coming to you with another video. And this video was going to be about the uh, trade, big big time NFL trade that went down last night. The Washington Redskins and the Kansas City Chiefs agreeing on a trade to send Pro Bowl quarterback Alex Smith to the Washington Redskins for a third round pick and cornerback Kendall Fuller. Well, the Redskins have also already inked a four-year extension for Alex Smith worth $94 million, everything but $71 million guaranteed. $23.5 million a year, and, you know, the next four seasons, and then, of course, you know, bonuses and you know all the other stuff. You can get the we can get the full ninety four hundred, but seventy one million is guaranteed for a quarterback who's thirty three years old. Now I understand that uh, Smith is coming off a career year, but I mean this seems this seems like a lot. I mean, and that Washington Redskins organization. I mean, you willing to give four years ninety four million dollars? to a 33-year-old quarterback, but you're not willing to go all in on your very own 29-year-old quarterback. Look at the stats. Uh, Cousins and Smith are about even in almost every category. Cause Smith's stats are a little bit higher. His QB rating is higher. Uh, his turnovers are definitely lower. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, of course, what do you expect from Alex Smith? You know, uh, he takes care of the football. I mean, sometimes too much. But um, I guess the plan is, the, the thing is now, I mean, obviously, Redskins have Smith locked up for the, last, for the next four years. Uh, the question is now, where does uh, Kirk Cousins end up now. He's an unrestricted free agent and he can sign wherever he wants. Of course, there's numerous teams, numerous contention teams that are in need of a quarterback like a Denver, like a Minnesota, like a Jacksonville. Uh, you know, those are just three of them. You know, Cleveland Browns need a quarterback, but I don't <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but looking at this trade for both from both sides, I mean, from uh, as far as the Chiefs are concerned, I mean, I, I think that you come out real well from the um, well. I mean, as as it, as of right now, I think the Chiefs got the better of the trade because they get a draft picked. They can they can help out their struggling defense of uh, uh, old old older defense as well, you know, and. And you have actually have a uh, uh, you actually have a good corner in Kendall uh, Fuller who he he was a good he's a very good slot corner but he he started to make a transition out to the out out to uh, playing 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 a wide out corner uh, we'll see how that works out alongside Marcus Peters I mean obviously the Chiefs did address the. A corner corner situation, which I which I thought they would in the draft. E either way, but they got a good young got, they got a good young corner and another draft pick. So I mean, of course, a lot more holes the Chiefs need to work on. You know, pass rush, D line, O line. You know, skill players on offense are pretty much set. You have Barry coming back next year, so we'll see. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see what Kendall Fuller can do. But uh, I mean, obviously, obviously, I like it from the Chiefs' perspective. Perspective. I don't like it from the Washington perspective. People at Washington are pissed. I mean, not only because you give ninety-four million to Alex Smith, but you give up a good young corner in Kendall Fuller. I mean, even our our even players are Washington players are ripping the front office for uh this move. I mean, I just I mean. I just don't see why you do why you why why you're giving ninety four million to a thirty three yard thirty three year old quarterback. He's gonna be thirty seven, thirty eight by the time this is over. And he, if he doesn't perform well, you think you're gonna trade you think that uh, that some other team is gonna take a 
35, 36, 37-year-old Alex Smith for that type of money? I don't think so. But other than that, man, let me uh, let me know what you think about the situation. Uh, let me know what you think about this trade. You know, who won? Who won and why? Who, who won this trade and why? Who you who do you think will be winning this trade three, four, five years from now? I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy, and it's, it's just just crazy. It's a business, man. It's a business. And I, I just want to take this time to thank Alex Smith uh, for all that he's done for my team, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, and for the Kansas City Chiefs community. You know, uh, his foundation, helping out kids and stuff. I mean, he's, he really did a lot for this city, and and I appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart, again, thank you. And uh, uh, really not much more. You know, that'd be best wishes in, in Washington, you know, except when you play us. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be tough in the NFC, uh, NFC East with uh, going up against Winston Dak and whoever the, whoever the Giants end up with. But, uh I mean, it's, it's been a pleasure, Alex Smith. It really has. And, hey, Patrick Mahomes' area started. You know, hey, hopefully he's as good. Oh, <laughs> hopefully he's as good as we believe that he will be. And we're not much more to say about it. Again, just thank God, Alex Smith. And welcome to Chiefs Kingdom, uh, Kendall, Kendall Fuller. Let's do it. I mean, if 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 if, if he's as good as uh, Washington people say that he is, and he can be that other corner alongside Marcus Peters, we're gonna be all right, man. She's gonna be all right. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you on the next video.